Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus sun, Cancer rising, Aquarius moon, and the life path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect at this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently, Taurus. But before I do go ahead and begin and get started with your reading and your energy, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and begin. First, what we're going to start out with are some Moonology Oracle cards. Let's see what energy we have making its way towards you or the energy you're dealing with currently. All right, can we please receive a few cards for my Tauruses, please, when it comes to the energy that's making its way towards them? All right, let's just take what comes out, Taurus. Let's see what we have going on for Taurus at this time. First card we do have is work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So work through your fears. What else do we need to know here for Taurus when it comes to their energy, please? What do we have going on for Taurus at this time, please? Let's go ahead and reshuffle. Okay, we also have step out of your comfort zone, north node. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. One more message, please, for my Tauruses. What else do we need to know here, please? And... You are good enough, Taurus, full moon in Virgo. So we are in Virgo season. So keep that in mind, Taurus. Give yourself credit as always. Pat yourself on the back when you accomplish small things, big things. And I feel like all of this energy ties into each other. We have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. And you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So Taurus, I feel like you have been taking care of yourself and when you take care of yourself in all aspects, that could be your mind, your body, spirituality, practicing little habits that accumulate into who you are. When you do stuff like that, Taurus, you're showing yourself that you respect yourself and you care about the quality of things in your life. And I feel like for you, Taurus, you may have been hesitant towards an area of life. This could be actually stepping out of your comfort zone or it, it's like an idea that comes to you. You know that you're capable of doing it, but it can bring or cause anxiety for whatever reason, Taurus. But I feel like you're starting to branch out. You're starting to show the world who you are, Taurus. And by showing the world who you are, that could just be showing up and new spaces and new environments and it's not just to attract other people towards or to gain the attention of other people or to be seen it's to do it for yourself so we have worked through your fears Taurus I'd like to reassure you that there's nothing to be afraid of and perhaps something that you've also been working on or being mindful of is being safe and secure with who you are and within your own body. I do feel like with this energy you were single Taurus or perhaps you were getting to know someone and it did not work out or some distance was created between you two but instead of taking that against yourself Taurus you're uplifting yourself you're pouring back into yourself you're starting to embody more of the person that you want to become and you may already be that person Taurus but it's like you're really keeping track of what you do here how you view yourself your perspective of your own self Taurus so we have work through your fears be confident Taurus we have step out of your comfort zone I feel like once you do this Taurus whether it be in be in big or smaller ways you're going to find people who are attracted to you because of your energy because of 
everything that they don't know about you, Taurus. They may not know or they don't know who you are yet, but there's something about you that makes people wonder. And also, it's not just about people. It's about these opportunities that are awaiting you. And this is more of an example, but say you're out and about and you could be taking a walk and then you, you see a poster for an event. It's free and it it piques your, your interest or it attributes to your interest, Taurus. So things like that, opportunities are awaiting you, Taurus. The world is awaiting you and you are good enough. Once again, give credit when credit is due and that's every single day, Taurus. Um, try to find something to look forward to or just practice gratitude not for not just for only everything that you have but everything you are Taurus how far that you've come so of course I'll refer back to these messages if needed but let's go ahead and get started with your tarot portion of your reading at the bottom of the deck we do have the high priestess I feel like this may be relevant relevant to your energy Taurus protecting your spirit protecting your energy we have Let's take the first card, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Behind it was the Knight of Pentacles, but we'll keep the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. What do we need to know for Taurus when it comes to their energy and who's coming towards them in regards to love, please? So far, we have the Eight of Pentacles energy for my Tauruses. What else do we need to know here? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, we do have the Four of Cups. All right, Taurus, so this may very well be, be for my single Tauruses or Tauruses who are in separation. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Let's receive some clarification on this Four of Cups energy. Okay, let's take this Knight of Pentacles that came out once again, but we also have the Three of Swords. I'm also going to take this Three of Swords energy, Taurus. Can we please clarify the Knight of Pentacles? as well as the Three of Swords for Taurus. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. What else do we need to know here for Taurus? The Hierophant, Taurus. And one more card, please, for Taurus in regards to this energy that we do have so far. What else do we need to know? All right, Taurus. Let's see what we have. Two cards came out. Let's go ahead and take the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, but Nine of Swords, something may be on your mind. I'll refer back to this energy as well, because I feel like it may be, uh, it may apply to the Four of Cups energy, but we have the Eight of Pentacles, as well as Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, then we have the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. So Taurus, like I said, I feel like you are single right now. I do feel like there was a recent love connection that you did get out of. Even if it was not recent, Taurus, you may be tired and fed up of being done wrong or being involved in situations or relationships that leave you crushed, that leave you to be that Nine of Swords energy like. I was better off before this person even came into my life. I only had good intentions, but it went south some way, somehow, or this person deceived me. I, I feel like you're tired of having those situations or people come to you, Taurus. So you'd rather fulfill yourself. You'd rather pour into your own cup. And I, I feel like you are reaping the, the rewards or you're taking in the rewards of pouring back into yourself slowly but surely um i do feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone as well because it's like i'm looking and this may be your perspective Taurus, but it's like if you want someone to share experiences with you share memories and moments with you but the people that you've been attracting or the people who have come to you taurus they leave you in this three of swords energy it's like i don't need anyone to fulfill my need for content I can do that myself so I feel like you have been towards because this energy three of swords is not worth it so we have the eight of pentacles I feel like this is where you're at now also with the higher font at the bottom of the deck practice practicing spirituality being in your zone being in your element um getting back in alignment with yourself Taurus you may have also been devoting time to your hobbies your crafts um, studying anything knowledgeable 
It's like you're trying to gain all this abundance in your life because you know that it'll serve you the best. It'll work out for you, Taurus. So perhaps spending some alone time. And when it comes to new love offers or maybe not every single one of them, Taurus, but I feel like with this Four of Cups energy, you're using that to protect yourself. It's like I'm not just jumping for the first compliment or the person who just seems sincere. I appreciate it, but I don't know who you truly are. So when dating or looking at your potential partners or your potential partner, it's like, really make me impressed and it's not like they're doing all the work here but it's that energy of i've been there i've done that i've experienced hurt and i'm tired of it you could still wear your heart on your sleeve taurus and you could still be a very loving person and i'd like to encourage you to still be that way don't let situations change how you how you or how you see things of course there's an extent to it but if you're a loving person don't don't dim that lovingness from yourself i hope that makes sense but we have the four of cups energy so i feel like you've been there you've done that taurus if it's not of quality you don't want it and this is going towards your value going towards your level of quality taurus but i do feel like with this knight of pentacles taurus someone may have already come your way and it's like you've talked to them or you've spoken to them had communication with them but you're not automatically jumping at the first thought of them being in your life you may be somewhat curious but i don't feel like you're as eager as this person so with this person this new person coming towards you towards i feel like it's going to start off very slow and steady you and this person might meet during virgo season and they could also be an earth sign so Taurus Virgo Capricorn but I feel like this person doesn't mind taking it slow Taurus um, but I also feel like as far as communication this person isn't on their phone 24 7 you may not be on your phone 24 7 either Taurus but this person always comes back around they always follow up with you Taurus and I feel like that's because they're they're trying to show you what they want with you that steady consistency and with the Four of Cups and then the Hierophant, like like I said, you may not be the most eager to start things off with this person, but I do feel like things can develop on a deeper level because this person, Taurus, once you two start having those conversations and start getting to know who you, who one another truly is on a one-to-one one depth level i feel like there's going to be a lot of similarities as far as your perspectives your opinions your values your morals it's like that feeling when you meet a friend or a lover just a person in general and they're so down to earth and you're like it's so refreshing to meet someone like-minded so I, I feel like you two will create or not create but connect on that level towards with the hierophant energy and it's enlightenment also this could also be a mind body soul connection but it's like when two people like two minds are better than one when two people come together and that light bulb goes off and everything else seems easier from that point on and we have the three of pentacles this person is work or looking to work with you build with you create with you have that inspiration have that collective goal for the both of you taurus and use it to the both of your advantage so yeah Taurus I, I do feel like there's someone who has their eye on you they want to know more about you let's see what else we have going on for Taurus please with their energy at this time following the three of pentacles what else do we need to know for my Tauruses okay we have the page of swords Taurus let's go ahead and clarify the page of swords please page of swords we have the nine of cups all right let's see what's developing with the page of swords and the nine of cups please for taurus okay we have the eight of wands eight of wands what else do we need to know with the eight of wands please for taurus 
between Taurus and this person, this new person, please. The star Taurus, the star card. And we'll receive two more messages, please. Two more cards, please, for my Tauruses. Following the star card, Aquarian energy. Let's go ahead and reshuffle. Following the star card, please, for Taurus. Okay, Ace of Cups and one more card, please. Okay, Seven of Wands. So, Taurus, I feel like um, this person is going to help bring you out of your comfort zone. So, following the Three of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords. We also have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Star, Taurus, Ace of Cups, and Seven of Wands. So, Taurus, like I said, this person is going to help bring you out of your comfort zone. You've been doing it yourself, Taurus, but I feel like this is going to start off and take off very slowly and it's because you Taurus you may be filling this person out guarding your heart protecting your heart and also maybe romantic love isn't the first thing on your mind right now you may have met this person on like social media and maybe even a dating app does not have to be the case but I I'm putting that out there because if it was a dating app for example you Taurus you may express what you want or how you're feeling about dating and from there you two are taking it slow so within taking it slow i feel like you two are going to discover how well you work with one another as well as that friendship being established through quality time here and i i feel like while you're getting to know this person taurus you're on your you're still on your own journey you're still freeing yourself you're working through your fears here i feel like you've discovered an, another avenue for yourself taurus and it's it's a very freeing feeling here and this person is all for it they're all for supporting you and um going at your speed going at your pace and i i don't feel like it's one of those energies where you're just leaving them on hold taurus i feel like you're still getting to know them but you're not moving too fast for yourself Taurus so I also feel like this person with them being like-minded Taurus or having similarities this person may put you on a new things maybe they've like told you about a book or and you started reading that book Taurus we do have the page of swords and she is reading a book but I feel like this is your energy Taurus like working through your fears um speaking up more using your words more and not being afraid to access that new chapter of your life sometimes when we feel like we should have been way ahead than we are at now we could put it against ourselves but sometimes it's that push that we need to move forward i'm no longer scared i'm ready so it's like you're you're taking that walk taurus and I feel like it's because you know or you're feeling that that freeing energy. You're surrendering here. I also feel like a lot of little things, even big things, have worked out for you, Taurus. And I want to connect this to an example. It's like... Uh, it could be the little things, Taurus. Like, say, you want to treat yourself to, like, take out or, like, Uber Eats or something. And... You find a promotion code and you save money on it like little things like that working out for you Taurus I feel like you're having a streak of that and it's because you're following your your heart you're staying true to yourself you're not settling for less but I I feel like with this person Taurus they're gonna make it known that they want you eight of wands that flame is there like they see so much within you Taurus within and outwardly like they're attracted to you so that eight of wands energy they're passionate they're ready for this 
with the star card aquarian energy aquarius may be a relevant placement but i feel like this has worked out in divine timing you may have not been looking for love taurus but it made its way towards you and i feel like this is also the energy where you or this person taurus you're thinking you're thanking the universe you're thanking god like this is what i've always wanted i like that belief is so much stronger taurus very optimistic very hopeful very inspiring taurus and like i said um with this starting off slow also the star card that may be that moment where you actually feel ready to move forward with this person in a romantic way and it's about when you feel ready towards not feeling pressured or feeling like it's the norm to date someone for however long and then jump into a relationship with them it's it's about you Taurus so we have the seven of wands once you feel like you're ready when you're in that right energy when you're in alignment I feel like that's when those emotions will fall in and that doesn't mean you have to hold out on your emotions here but I feel like you're you're more focused on yourself right now Taurus all right I'm just gonna pull some situations oracle cards what cards may be relevant for Taurus please we do have nightlife gamble take a risk Vegas take these messages as they do resonate may or may not resonate for you Taurus let's put this card back but it is interview talk conversation get on the same page so we have nightlife what else do we have for Taurus please okay we'll read this one as well meeting two or more people discussions planning so you and this person may have a bunch of conversations just to figure out who one another are or is Taurus just to make sure that this is going somewhere the higher font energy but we have plug tuned in internet connected feel like you're tuned into yourself Taurus oh we do have single current status available you may very well be single Taurus one more energy please and divine masculine so this could be a divine masculine coming into your life also you Taurus embodying your divine masculine energy let's see what signs may be relevant we do have Aries for Taurus as well as Gemini Aries Gemini one more sign please and that is Pisces but Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.